Hello, welcome to Japan. My name is Satoshi Yamada. I am a curriculum specialist at MEXT. I am mainly in charge of the national curriculum standards for English instruction for lower secondary schools. In this session, I'll show you a video of an actual English class in a lower secondary school in Japan. Before that, I'll explain about the class. Through my explanation about the class and the video, I hope you will get an image of actual English classes in Japan, especially in lower secondary schools, and understand the way in which you should teach from the point of view of the national curriculum standards, and understand the roles you will play as an ALT in your schools. This class was conducted in 2019 for third year students at the secondary school in Gifu, which is located in central Japan. The students in the class participated in three languages activities, reading, speaking, and writing. In the reading activity, the student read brief paragraphs from their textbook about the personal life of Aung San Suu Kyi. They worked by themselves on grasping the outline of some events in her life. Then, they confirmed in pairs where they could understand the outline correctly. In English classes in Japan, students read many kinds of paragraphs. For example, biographies of some affairs like Aung San Suu Kyi, explanatory text about environmental issues and school life in foreign countries. Through reading those passages, students learn how to understand the meaning of sentences, pick up the necessary information from text, and grasp the outline or key points of paragraphs. So, in the reading activities, AALTs are expected to help students acquire those reading abilities without using Japanese. It is important for the students to understand English through English, not Japanese. So, what do you think you can do? If your students have difficulty understanding a sentence because there are some unknown words in it, what will you do? In this case, you can replace the words with other words that the students probably know. What else can you do? Let's come up with what you could do and keep those points in mind. Secondly, in the speaking activity, the students spoke to each other in pairs. They talked freely about what they thought of Aung San Suu Kyi's life. In the National Curriculum Standards, one of the goals in speaking activities is to enable students to improvise communication. In the past, many English teachers had their students speak from notes. In other words, they made their students write out what they are going to say in the speaking activities. As a result, during the activities, students spoke while reading these compositions. Don't you think this is reading rather than speaking? The National Curriculum Standards emphasize improvisational interaction. In the video class, the Japanese teacher of English and the ALT help the students talk spontaneously. For example, the teachers share their own thoughts with the students before the speaking activity. Expressing their thoughts in simple phrases and sentences is important because it can be a useful scaffolding for the students. Moreover, it can be meaningful for the students who don't have a clear picture of what to say. In addition, some students can make good use of words and phrases that the teachers have used. During the speaking activity, Motivating students to talk without being afraid of making mistakes is also important. 
What do you think you can do in the speaking activity? Sharing your own thoughts and ideas in simple English, as I mentioned before, is one thing that you can do. Motivating students is another important thing. What else can you do? Let's think about what is best for your students. Third, in the writing activity, the students wrote down their own thoughts and ideas based on what they had talked in pairs in the previous activity, the speaking activity. You can see the students writing at the end of the video. Please think about what kind of help you can give to your students when they are writing something. Now, it's time for you to watch the video. Have fun! And please think a lot and learn a lot when you're watching the video. See you later. Okay, so please look at the blackboard. Uh, there are four stages today. One, small talk and a kind of review. And the second timeline, you have already read about the political life of Aung San Suu Kyi, and there are some important ears for her, right? What ears are important for Aung San Suu Kyi? Uh, okay, in 1988. So, everyone, let's talk about what happened in these years, okay? What happened in 1988, what happened in 1989, and what happened in 1991? It's a kind of review. Let's check with your A partner. All right, two minutes, ready, start. Um, she was locked up for 15 years in total. Okay. Okay, thank you everyone. Please stop talking. Thank you. So, let's check together. Everyone, today we are going to read the story of a uh, personal life of Aung San Suu Kyi. Okay. Today's situation. Uh, can you read, everyone? Saki is reading article. This is reading task. Can you read? What happened to Aung San Suu Kyi and about now? Right? And there are two reading points. One, please make the timeline, your original timeline. So English words are OK and pictures are OK. Ready, start. So if you have questions, please raise your hand. Let us know. We will help you. Okay, what does it mean, cancer? Cancer. See, the new words, cancer. Where is cancer? Yeah? Yes, that's right. Okay, let's take note. Who is this? Yeah, Aung San Suu Kyi. Yeah. So Aung San Suu Kyi was dying of cancer. Yeah. Aung San Suu Kyi was dying of cancer. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, you drew well. So, please, okay. Uh, the man. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Nice. Even if you didn't finish, it's okay, no problem. So you will have only one minute. Let's talk with your A partner and share your ideas. Ready, start. She talked about Nobel Peace Prize. Ah, it's okay, but it's better. She went to the ceremony. You know ceremony? Ceremony of no, no, the Nobel Peace Prize. Can I use, yeah? Ceremony. Ceremony. She went to the ceremony. How about in 1991? She got the Nobel Peace Prize, but did she go to the ceremony? No. No, why? Uh, she, <laughs> she was. Good gesture. She, uh, she was under. 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 <laughs> yes. House arrest. 
<laughs> All right, stop talking, everyone. Let's share your ideas. Everyone, do you remember Leave Behind? Yes, so please remember, let's, let's read the two in the, on the second grade. Aragaki Tsutomu. Right? So Tsutomu's father and mother leave Tsutomu behind. Yes, that's right. So, like this way. Yes, I imagine Aung San Suu Kyi and her husband called, right? And she said, I'm sorry, I can't go back to the UK. She probably was crying too. Ah, yeah. We need tears, Kotake Sensei. I'm sorry. I need to cry. Yes, cry. And action. Sorry, I cannot go back to the UK. It's okay. I have to help people in Myanmar. It's okay. I understand. <laughs> I'm Alice. So everyone, today's task. Ready? Go. Yes. So I think Aung San Suu Kyi is very strict with herself. Uh, because even if her husband was dying of cancer, she couldn't go back to the UK. So how about you, Sensei Sensei? Mm. So I think Aung San Suu Kyi is very generous. Do you remember generous? Oh, one more time, please. Very kind. Very, very, very kind. <laughs> It's because not only did she not see her husband, but she gave all her money, all her money to Myanmar. That's very, very generous. Okay. So everyone, you will have only one minute to think. Please make your ideas. All right, everyone, please stop and stand up, please. And let's make a partner. I think uh, her life, her way of life is very sad. So it's because she couldn't visit for her husband in 1999. And uh, she was. So, everyone, let's share your ideas. Okay, what do you think about Aung San Suu Kyi's way of life? She's kind and strict and active, I see. So, Kotaro-san, can you say? So she is kind of, uh, uh, kind of, kind of many people. Oh, kind too many uh, people. Too many. Good. Okay. So why do you think so? She is helped many people in Myanmar. Oh, right. Of course. Good job. Okay, Min san So you said uh, Aung San Suu Kyi is active. Uh, why do you think so? Uh, because even if she were uh, put under her house arrest uh, to Government. Ah, by the government. By the government yeah. in 15 years, very long. For oh, 15 years, huh? But she never gave. Oh, I see. All right, so now everyone. I want to tell you one comment. Uh, so, for example, Moshi Watashi ga Aung San Suu Kyi dattara. Uh, 
Yes. So if I am, no, if I war. Minami san, if you were Aung San Suu Kyi, would you stay in Myanmar or would you go back to the UK? I would go back to the UK. Why? I want to see my husband before mm -hmm. he did. Ah, uh, he died. Died. For death? Oh, I see. Me too. I think so too. So, let's try use. Please stand up and let's make B partner. Try again. Uh, but this textbook was made in 2016, okay? But actually, there was a big problem in 2017. Do you know? In 2017, Rohingya crisis happened. Rohingya people in 2017, they had to leave Myanmar. Do you remember the other words? Refugee. Like Rohingya. Oh, loud words? Refugees. Yes, refugees. Do you remember refugees? No. What does it mean? No. That's right. So, I will show you the BBC News. The BBC News is the news, comp uh, news TV program in the UK. Okay, everyone, please look at the blackboard. In the textbook, the Aung San Suu Kyi hoped this world, a world that is free from, free from means without, okay? The world that is free from the displaced and the homeless and the hopeless. But actually, how about Rohingya? Rohingya people is the displaced. Why? Because they are refugees now. The homeless. Why? Because the army fired and hopeless. But Aung San Suu Kyi is now keeping striving for the world. Mm. So it is very difficult to make the dream come true. Okay, what do you think about the Rohingya crisis? Uh, Shori, what do you think? I think the government have to help Rohingya and many refugees will be I hope many refugees will be hopeless. I uh, hope they will be not hopeless. Uh, will be not hopeless. Will not mm. be hopeless. You hope. Please take notes. Reflection time. Anything is okay. Okay. So now everyone, the time is over. Did you enjoy the video class? In concluding my session, this session, I'd like to stress the importance of three key points that the two teachers in the video class have conveyed to us. The first point is that they are strongly conscious of letting the students learn English by doing. Through language activities, students can express their own thoughts and ideas. However, Opportunities to communicate in English should not be limited to only in class. 
ALTs can create these chances at any time. For example, during the lunch break, cleaning time, and club activities. Communication with ALT is a variable language activity. Don't stay in the teacher's room all the time. Go out and talk to your students as much as possible. The second point is that they made the classroom a setting for authentic communication by only using English all through the class. Don't forget that in the national curriculum standards, all lessons basically are conducted in English in order to enable students to have enough opportunities to use English in classes. The third point is that knowledge of grammar and expressions should be acquired through actual communication in classes. Do you remember when the Japanese teacher of English in the video told the subjunctive mood sentences? If I were an San Suu Kyi, I would blah blah blah. The teacher encouraged the students to use these kinds of sentences in the activity. A girl then used this kind of expression in her pair work. Actually, the Japanese teacher of English had taught the subjunctive mood sentences in the previous lesson. The teacher had made the students use these kinds of expressions in a speaking activity in the lesson. Then, in the following lesson, that is the video lesson, the teacher had the students use the sentences again. In this way, Japanese teachers of English and ALTs are required to provide various kinds of opportunities in which students can use what they had learned again and again. What is necessary for you to create such opportunities for students? One important point is that you should learn what kind of sentences or expressions students have already studied. Please keep in mind that expanding their knowledge of grammar and expressions is important for the students, but it is not the goal. The goal is to use it in communication. Those three key points are crucial for the national curriculum standards to be conducted successfully. Thank you very much for listening. Your students and partner teachers are looking forward to seeing you, learning, and working with you. I wish you the best of luck in the work and the life with your students and fellow teachers.